Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Jenny. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, Hi. thank you. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Did you work today? Yes, I work. Okay. And how was your day? Excuse me. And how was your day at work? Very tired. Very tired. I mean, your day was tidy and you are tired. <laughs> yes, I'm a little bit tired too. I work in another place from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then I have classes with you. So I have two jobs <laughs> at this moment. Good evening, Isamar. I don't know why, but it's... A little bit difficult to hear you today. Okay, welcome to your English class, everyone. Thank you for being here on time. I appreciate your punctuality. Okay, guys, today we're going to have a very interesting topic, and it's about the parts of the body and also how you can say that you have a, a health problem, mm -hmm, that you are sick and you don't feel well. Okay, that's what we are going to learn today. So it's going to be very, very useful for everybody, but mostly for Patricia because she's a doctor. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to share the screen so you can see my presentation. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great. So as you can see, the structures that we are going to learn today are the following. Have plus noun, feel plus adjective, and the example, I feel homesick. Okay, I feel homesick. So um, this is the, oh, sorry, it's not class two, it's class number What class, what, which class is, is oh. today's class? Oh. No. Five. Yes, it's class number five. Can you imagine? Yeah, we started the last uh, Wednesday. And so today we have one week working on this. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I already made a change. Well, I, I sent the presentation so you can have an idea of what we are going to be learning and studying today. Okay, so let's start. Objectives for today. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use a half plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will uh, practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. And by the end of the class, you will learn the names of common medications for health problems. So it's gonna be very, very nice. Um, in the activity one, I have an activity to refresh uh, your knowledge or to recall your knowledge, your previous knowledge of the top. In the second activity, we have the grammar structure. And then in activity number three, are you going to see the doctor? What are you going to take? So uh, we are going, we are combining uh, the grammar 
with going to you and also the vocabulary. And then we have the wrap up. So let's continue. Here we have parts of the body. I would like you to tell me which is the part of the body that you can see in the picture. For example, this one, can you tell me which one? What is it? Knee. Yes, it's the knee. Okay, what about this one? This part of your body? Wrist. 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 The wrist. wrist. Okay, what about wrist? wrist. That's in your eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and women, we put some mask, okay, to look more beautiful. Eyelash. Okay. It's eyelash. Eyelash. And in plural, eyelash. eyelashes. Eyelash. 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 Then we have the, the foot, okay? Foot. Foot is in singular, but if I want to mention feet. both of them, how, what feet. is the plural form? Our feet. 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 Yes. F E E T. Feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have the other one. The, the vocabulary is right here. So, what is this? All of the children. All of the face. Exactly. Face. That's your face. Face. What about this part? Face. Neck. 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 Your neck. Okay. Then we have. Um, okay. Over here, you can perforate. Well, I have to do it so that I can use. Ear love. Ear love. Ear love. Ear love. Okay. That Ear part love. of your that part Ear of your love. foot is the the tool. Nape. Nape. Heel. It's the heel. heel. It's the heel. Heel. Uh, heel. Exactly. It's the heel. Okay. And we have others. This part, but inside. <laughs> throat. 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 That's your throat. throat. Okay. That's your throat. 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 Oh, somebody has a problem in the, the room. Let me check. Oh, Kim. <laughs> okay, then what is the other part? Uh, okay. Nape. Nape, exactly. It's nape. And then we have shoulder. Shoulder. Yes, and finally here, and this is like the hand. Yeah. The hand. Hands. 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 Hands or fingers? Hands. And the hand. Um, okay, there is a student who said that can't. Uh -huh. Let me check who was this person. Kim, Kim Centeno. Pero no la veo acá. A, a, alguien me, me escribió que no puede encender la cámara. Hmm. Pero no entiendo. Why? Try it again, please. <laughs> Kimberly. Ya, ya, ya me funcionó, mis. Ah, okay. no, entré y me una llamada. Es que no me agarraba, me decía ahí que la suscripción no me permitía ni hablar ni encender cámara. Y eso estaba raro, ¿verdad? Ok, but now you, you are here. Ok, thank you, good. Ok, so we still have more. We have more uh, vocabulary in the next slide. Ok. What do you call this? Chest. The chest. chest. Yes, the chest. chest. And then, what about these ones? Finger. 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake here. I didn't change it. It's finger. Hand. Hand. It's the hand and your fingers, okay? Okay, what about Fingers. these ones? 
arms. 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 Yes. arms. And with your arms, you can hug very tight. Mm. Okay. And then you have your tongue. Your tongue. Tongue. Don't do that, means <laughs> Your tongue. Yes. Okay, what about the other one? This Pupil. one? Pupil. Pupil. Yes. Pupil. 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 No. With your? No. 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 Uh huh. Nick. Forehead. 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 And finally, Forehead. tooth. Yes, your toes. Okay, good job. You got it. Very good. You got it. On the next slide, you can see uh, like more in general, but you have more um, vocabulary. Okay, you can practice repeating and pronouncing the words. Okay, hair. Hey. Okay, your nape, the back of nape. your neck, nape. Yes, then we have uh, this board, the shoulder blade, arm, shoulder blade. elbow, arm, elbow. Okay. elbow. Okay. Also, we have your uh, forearm, your wrist, arm, your wrist, wrist. Okay. Uh -huh. And all of this is your head, this is your neck, okay? Then you can see the back, and at the lower back, we have the loin. This part is the loin. <laughs> and this part is your, your butt, okay? Or your buttock, or your buttock. Okay, your hip, hip. and all of this is your trunk. Okay, Bada. Bada. then we have the legs called heel oh. Oh. and foot. Oh. Okay. foot. Uh, also, this part your hmm. most noise tie. So you can con you can continue practicing this vocabulary, okay? So now let's go to the core of the class. What's the matter? What's wrong? Okay, so here uh, to talk about health problems, uh, this is the structure. First, you've got the subject. The subject, for example, I, you, he, she, it, we, you and they, and then we have have for first person, second person, and we have has for the third person singular, and then the noun. So let's look at this example. I put here this example. I have a headache. I have a headache. Okay. Or I have a nose. You have a headache. He has. He has a headache. A headache. She has. He has a headache. He has a headache. We have a headache. We have a headache. You have a headache. You have a headache. They have a headache. So as you can see, we use have. We only change to has when it's, when you use he, he, or it, or when you talk about the third person singular. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very simple. I will show you more examples and please um, practice the pronunciation, okay? So you say, hey, you don't look good. What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, I have a backache. Okay. Or, um, I'm sorry, there's a mistake here. My brother, a tooth, a tooth. my brother has a toothache. A toothache. Okay. Toothache. Yes. <clears throat> if you notice, Something is that when you talk about um, 
pains, dolores, pains. Uh, you in pain. you add e a c h e, okay? So we ha I have a back. Back is the part of your body, and to mention the pain, you add ache, a c h e. I have a backache. My brother has a toothache. She has a stomachache. My son has <laughs> diarrhea. Poor of him. <laughs> oh, he has a pain on her chest. I think he, he has, has COVID, coronavirus. She mm -hmm. doesn't have the flu. So doesn't have is the negative form. Been. For the third person, we use does, doesn't or does not. Does. I don't does. have a sore throat. Mm -hmm. So you I use don't. Don't. don't in the first, second person, singular and plural, <clears throat> and third person plural. I don't have a sore throat. The dog, my dog, <laughs> has a cough. <laughs> The dog oh. and some people do you know what some people do oh. when they're when their dogs have a cough do you know what's their secret no no they put a coin or a necklace of lemons they put some lemons a oh. coin of lemons to the to the dog yeah oh. I, I think that <laughs> Okay, and what else? You have fever. Now question. For questions, you put first the auxiliary in the third person does. In the first, second person do. Okay, does she have? And because you have the auxiliary, then have, and it's, it's normal. It's in the base form. You don't have to put has because we already have the auxiliary does. Okay, so does she have a runny nose? Do you have a black nose? Yes, teacher, I do have a black nose. That's why I speak very weird. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is a black nose, okay? And, and, and you, you even speak differently <laughs> and weird. <sighs> <laughs> now I can breathe. So, do you have any questions about the use of this structure? No teacher. Okay. Great. Now, let me show you the other part. Now we have using feel. The subject, feel, and then you have to use an adjective, okay? So uh, you say, I feel, you feel, he feels. You feel. you feel. Remember, you have to put the S to the verb. He feels, she feels, in the third person singular. It feels. It feels. It feels. We feel. You feel, you feel and they you feel, feel. They okay feel. and then you have to use adjectives here you can uh, you have some negative feelings you can say i feel terrible you feel terrible. sick he feels awful it feels miserable you miserable. feel really bad Really bad. Okay. So those ones are negative, negative feelings. Okay, now we have also positive feelings. Okay, like, oh, I feel fine. Or you can say, he feels fine. good. Mm -hmm. She feels cool. great. Okay. Oh, we feel terrific, yes. teacher, because we are learning English a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, I feel fantastic. Or, um, I feel better. better. I feel better. Ya me siento mejor. I feel better. Okay. Or you can say, I feel awesome, teacher. I feel with a lot of energy. And we have, how are you? How do you feel? Okay, those are the questions that you ask. Okay, K. 
Can you repeat, please? How are you? 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 Or so you, or you can say, how are, how are you? How are you? Also, you can say. Or you can say. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? And the previous one. And the previous one. Perdón. Bueno, en la anterior, aquí tenemos, ve, repeat after me. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? 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 Okay, repeat after me. I have a backache. I have, I have a, 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 a backache. Back My brother has a toothache. My, My brother, brother has a toothache. She has a stomachache. He has a stomachache. My son has diarrhea. My son has diarrhea. My son has diarrhea. 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 Do you have diarrhea? No. 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 Diarrhea. No, Thanks, God. <laughs> because that's know. terrible. <laughs> okay, another one. He has a pain on her chest. He has, he has a, a pain, pain on her chest. chest. Oh, her chest. You know what? Pain on the that is a mistake of this sentence. Hair? Can you identify the mistake? Yes, hair. Hair. Uh -huh. So um, what is the correct form? His chest. His, his chest has a pain on his chest. his chest. Exactly, uh -huh. because we are talking about a man, okay? Okay, let me let me correct it. He has a pain on his chest. Okay. Next, she doesn't have the flu. She doesn't, she doesn't have, have she doesn't have the flu. flu. I don't have a sore throat. I don't, I don't have, have a sore throat. 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 You have fever. You have fever. You have fever. You have fever. Fever. Does she have fever? Does she have a runny nose? Cuando se le salen los moquitos así como agüita, ¿verdad? That's when you have a runny nose. Do you have a, oh, here, excuse me, oh my goodness, when I was doing this, I was really busy. <laughs> I didn't notice. That is another uh, um, spelling mistake. Block. Let me correct. Block. Do you have a blocked nose? Do you have a blocked nose? Are you blocked nose. Do you have a blocked nose? Okay, perfect. Now repeat, please, after me. Terrible. 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 Miserable. 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 Really bad. 
Really, really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Mine. 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 Good. 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 Like in the song, I feel good. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> the other one is great. Great. Terrific. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Better. 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 Okay, there are some people who are having problems, right? Because it's raining. Don't worry. You you will be able to watch the video tomorrow on YouTube. Okay, let's continue. We have more vocabulary today. Ah, now it's your time to practice, okay? You are going to practice in your groups. You are going to ask your classmates, how are you? How do you feel today? And please pretend that you are sick, okay? I know you aren't, but pretend, okay? Pretend that you are sick. And that you say, I feel terrible. I think I have a I think I have a few. Or you can ask, hey, what's the matter? What's wrong with you? You don't look, you don't look well today. Oh, I have a terrible headache. Or you can say, I think I have fever. Or you can say, I have a sore throat or I have a cough. <laughs> but I have a stomachache. I want to go to the restroom. <laughs> okay, so in your groups, um, I'm going to assign you in some breakout rooms and you are going to practice, pretend that you are sick, okay? Are you ready? Okay. 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 You should yes. have the presentation on your, yes, on your, on your cell phone, right? Bueno, vamos a ver, ¿quién me, ¿me puede decir a alguien qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes. Una conversación. Um, you ask for somebody, how are you or how do you feel? And you say, I, uh, I have a diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're going to practice. You're going to practice how you feel, okay? So I'm going to assign you on breakup rooms and, um, and you practice, okay? Okay. Hello. Please accept accept invitation. Angela, Veronica, Albert Franklin. Hello.
Yes. Okay. And ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otra? Yo creo que ya lo terminamos. Um, solo Mario faltó. No sé si va a contestar. Ok. Ok. Another thing that you can do is to practice the use of have with questions. Do you have you have do you have uh, a headache no i don't and you i don't okay do, do you have a stomach ache, jenny no i don't okay i don't have or i don't in the short answer, just no, I don't. Okay. The rain is coming here. <laughs> okay, oh, please. Okay. You can, you can, uh, what about feeling? How are you guys? How do you feel today? I feel so good. Oh, that's great. What about you, Andrea? How do you feel? I feel fantastic. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because in the night is my part, my favorite part. <laughs> of the day? Yes. Oh, yes. It's, it's because, because you are sleep. a... <laughs> Sorry? Because I sleep. Oh, yes. Because we have the time to sleep and rest. And no, it's not because you have your English class and you're learning something new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to check other groups. You can continue okay. practicing and speaking English the most you can. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Right. Hello, everyone. I am your doctor. Can you please tell me what's your problem? No, no problem. <laughs> you don't have problems? No. Okay, no. how do you feel? No. I, I'm very tired, me. Oh, you feel tired. Why? Yeah. You don't um, look tired. I work in very lot, very lot quicker uh, today. And, and I have I had um um peri como se diría el dolor en la nuca Oh um a pain on my neck I have a, a pain, pain on my neck I have a pain on I my... have a pain on my neck Okay but that but that is because you feel stressed out You feel stressed out Ah, okay, stress out. Yeah, when you are stressed out, you feel a pain here, okay, on your neck. Ah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Ah, that happens. Okay, very good. What about Fatima? Um, I feel tired, very tired, and asleep. And sleepy. You feel tired and sleepy. Me too. <laughs> and sleepy. <laughs> yes, but we gotta be here with a positive attitude, right? Positive attitude. <laughs> you have to say, I feel great, teacher. I feel great because I am practicing my English. In the future, I will communicate with Gringo's teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, Modesto Rosa? Are you there? I feel. I feel. How good. are you today? How do you feel? I feel good, teacher. Okay. Um, because I, I am 
resting in my house. Do you work or study? And I study. I study in university. You study. Okay. Yes. So, okay, continue practicing, please, girls and Modesta, and I will go to I will go over uh, other groups. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Eh, Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How do you feel? <laughs> I feel great. You feel great? I feel fantastic. Oh, nice. And you, Patricia? ¿Cómo se dice perdida? I feel perdida. Lost. I feel lost. Lost. I feel lost. Why? No comprendo mucho, pero ya me explicó Isamar, no comprendo mucho lo de los dolores. Entonces ahí es donde me desubico, pero ya me explicaron. Vaya, mire qué bueno, aquí tenemos teachers. Sí. Oh, no, not only one, more teachers. <laughs> bueno, okay. es bien fácil. Usted usa el sujeto, primero tiene que decir quién, ¿verdad? Luego, has. O si es tercera persona, has. O sea, si es que ella o esto, ¿verdad? Que puede ser un animal. Sí, has. Usa hat. Y luego tiene que usar un noun. Un noun es un sustantivo. Y ahí es donde vamos a poner cualquier cosa o, o dolores. Por ejemplo, I have a cell phone. Yo tengo un teléfono. I have a cell phone. Or you can say, I have fever. I have fever. Or you can say in the negative form, I don't have, I don't have a car. I'm sorry, it's raining very hard. <laughs> I think I'm gonna close the door. Okay, give me, give me a minute. Okay. 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 See. Si. Continue? Sí. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the matter? I have a fever. No, I have a fever. I have a fever, yes. Patricia, what's the matter? I have a fever. Um, I have diarrhea. Excuse me? Repeat. Oh, uh, I have diarrhea. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are going to shout so that you can hear me. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Is it raining out there? Yes. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Yes. It's raining. Yes. 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 Yes.
um, loudly or increase the volume because for me it's difficult to hear you. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the presentation. Vaya, voy a volver a, a, a explicar aquí algo muy importante. Ahorita estamos enfocando el tema en problemas de salud, health problems. Pero el I have lo pueden ocupar con muchísimas otras cosas. I have a noun. For example, I have a cell phone. You have a nice car. You have a car. Or he has a computer. She has a baby. Or we have a nice class. You have good classmates. They have a nice teacher, okay? It's so true. I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, you have, we and have. they have. have. Así que they podemos have. usar have para decir que tenemos cosas. Uh -huh. Y también para expresar, to express a health problem, para expresar un problema de salud, like I have a bucket. Tengo un dolor de espalda. Or my brother has a toothache. Mi hermano tiene un dolor de muelas o un dolor de dientes. Y así por el estilo. My son has diarrhea. Mi hijo tiene diarrea. Okay. My son has diarrhea and others. Ahora en este caso es para expresar how we feel, our feelings. Cómo nos sentimos, ¿verdad? O cómo se siente alguien. Okay. Yo creo que en este sí no hay mucho, mucho problema. Qué bueno que ya practicaron. Y ahora quiero mencionarles the medicine. Ok, the medicine that you can take when you are sick. For example, whenever you, whenever I have a, or whenever you have a headache, you can take aspirin. Whenever you have a pain on your leg, you can, you can put on, put on, put on muscle cream, cream, some cream. If you have a cough, you can use some cough drop. <laughs> So you can take some cough drops. If you have problems in your eyes, maybe your eyes are red, you can put some eye drops. Drops, okay? You can put some eye drops. Eight drops. When you have a cough, you can take a cough syrup. A cough syrup. <laughs> okay? I mean nothing. Sorritone. is a cough syrup. Cough syrup. Marabi, right? Cough syrup. If you have a stomach probably, I mean, you can take an antiacid. 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 Okay. Also, if you have a cold, you can take some cold pills. For example, Sudagrip. <laughs> now I'm making some commercials. Yeah. Now, but I'm just I'm just giving some examples, okay? I'm not yes. a doctor. Yes. Okay. Uh, sometimes we have to put some ointment, ointment, ungüentos. Okay. Oh, uh, and this is very common in El Salvador, the vitamino thing. Um, when you have a cup. Or, um, or maybe, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think when you have a cut, 
you can put some antiseptic or if you have asthma, you can use a decongestant spray. Okay, to then congestionate your nose. Or you can use a nasal spray. Okay, for people who have uh, breath problems. Or if you don't want to get sick, you have to take some vitamins. Right now, it's very important to take vitamin C to protect from coronavirus, okay? And we have also the throat lozenges. The throat lozenges are similar to candies. Parecen que fueran dulces, but they are not. Throat lozenges are pills similar to candies that are intended to help your, your throat, okay? Dulcitos para la garganta, for example. <laughs> La sorritone, okay? Los gargantinos. And here we have other ones that is very famous and popular in El Salvador. I view profane. Sorritone. I view profane. So, when somebody has a health problem, you can ask the person, are you going to see the doctor? What are you going to take? Okay, if I have fever, I'm going to take uh, aspirin. Aspirin. aspirin or, or aspirin. cold pills, no. Or aspirin. aspirin. Okay, aspirin. I have a stomach ache. I'm going to take Ant antiacid. 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 Okay. Yeah. My daughter has a toothache. I'm going to give her. Ibuprofen. 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 I will profit. I will profit. I the dentist. <laughs> My daughter has the a toothache. I'm going to give her some acetaminophen. I be yes for the pain, a pain relief. I will profit. Okay. Um, and now we have this other. Um, option I have. I'm going, oh, for example, you can say I have a bucket. I'm going to put on some, some cream, some cream, 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 some cream, some cream. Cofal cream. cream. <laughs> I'm going to put some marijuana cream. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Big. Big. Is that okay, doctor? Big. Is that okay? <laughs> that is okay. Muy bien. I veo que están todavía. Yo dije se me fueron. But no, you are still there, and that's good. Okay, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, give you another. Uh, I'm gonna give you some minutes to practice in the groups. And imagine one person is your doctor and the other person, I mean, you are the patient and your classmate is the doctor. And so you, you tell the doctor how you feel and then the doctor gives you some medicine, okay? This is for you to practice the vocabulary for the medicine and the health problems. Aspirin, muscular. Okay. Yeah, if you want, let's repeat after me, okay? Let's practice the pronunciation first. Aspirin. 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 Muscle cream. Cough drops, eye drops, cough syrup, 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 Oinopen, 
Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Do you know how to say vacuna in English? Basin. Basin. Yes. Basin. Are you already vaccinated against COVID? No, for me, no. Yes. Okay, that's good. Yes. Okay, yeah, now. Now the vaccine is available for all the people uh, older uh, 18 years. Okay? Yeah. Good. So I'm going to create the rooms and please practice. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? A practicar en grupo. Very good. A doctor conversation, a conversation. Yes, Pero doctor doctor. and patients. Doctor and patients, okay? Mm Hello, Bisamar. Hello, Mario no está ahí. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to move you to another group. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, I'm going to, you are Bisamar. I asked, I asked me, I asked me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jancy. Oh, I am your do doctor. Okay. I don't feel well. Oh, how what? Uh, what are, how do you feel? Oh, how do you, what's, what's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, I have a back, I have a, a headache. <laughs> I have fever and I have a sore throat. That's too bad. Okay. Take and um, you need to take some aspirin and take a rest <laughs> and drink uh, some juice and and some vitamins. So huh? no yet. Vitamins? No, yes. Vitamins. Okay, which vitamins should I um, take? Vitamin C and um, um, I don't know. And se me olvidó cómo se llama la otra. Vitamin B? B12? 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 Yes, D. 
uh, for the anticuerpos. I don't know. <laughs> ah, for my immune system. Yes. Okay. Maybe for the virus. <laughs> oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> okay. okay. How do you say sospecha? Ah, I'm sorry? Suspicious. Suspicious. It's suspicious. <gasps> really? <laughs> Doctor? <Yes>. Take off? <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's a problem no. now i have a, a pain on my chest i can breathe <laughs> i'm gonna <Okay>. die <laughs> just kidding we have just four minutes to finish the class so we're gonna oh please practice with modest i'm gonna give you one minute to yes. practice with modest okay thank you miss yes okay, okay. hi modesto hi How was the practice? Did you have fun? Were you good doctors? So everybody, everyone in the class today were doctors <laughs> and patients. Okay, guys, it's almost time to finish the class. Wow. Time flies. Okay, Ooh. now to finish the class, I have um, the wrap up. And um, we are gonna do it as, as, as a whole class because of the time. Okay. We have some questions here. What do you take? What do you take when you have? Tell me 10 parts of your body. Give me three sentences using have plus noun. And give me three sentences using feel plus adjective. So uh, let me ask. Ta -da -dan, ta -da -dan. Let me see who. Aisa, what do you take when you have fever? Isa or Isamar? Aisa. Aisa. Uh, excuse me. I take um, acetam acetam acetaminophen. Okay. Uh, you can say whenever, whenever I have fever. Okay. When. Whenever, whenever I have fever. I take acetaminophen or aspirin. Or oh, aspirin. Okay. Whenever I have fever, I take acetaminophen. Okay, very good. Another person? Hey, let me see. Jenny Marisol, tell me 10 parts of your body. Ten. Um, permítame, teacher. Tenía que ver. Foot. Foot. Okay. Foot. Shoulder. Shoulders. 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 Here. Here. Um. Turn. Here. Oh, yes, I am. 
I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? Pew. Teacher? Hair. Arms. Eyes. Arms. Clues. Nose. Nose. No, nose, nose. What else? Okay, can somebody? Carlita, do you want to help her? Carla Alejandrina? Um, arm. Arm. Breeze. Breeze. Okay. Is good. Ah, no, ya lo dijeron. <laughs> este. Elbow. Knee. Elbow. What else? Um. Knee. 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 Okay, and many other. Hey, I just do. Hi. Leo. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, Face. Siete, ocho. Face. Back. La espalda. Back. Leo. Hell. Heel. El talón. Very good. Give me three sentences using half plus noun. Let me see who. I'm going to ask. I have. What I have the computer. Okay, I have a computer. I have a fever. I have a tablet. Okay, what about using a third person singular? He He has, he has, he has, he has two dogs. Two dogs. Okay, good job. Now give me three sentences using feel plus the adjective. I feel, I feel, I feel wonderful. Oh, I feel great. I feel great. I feel, great. feel, great. I feel, great. I feel not good. I don't feel well. Oh, there's a problem with this thing. I do not feel well. No me siento I bien. I don't feel well. Yes, I, I feel do. happy. Done, feel well, and finally, you feel happy because it's already the end of the class. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Did you like the class today? Yes, yes. What did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendieron hoy? What did you learn today? The parts of the body. Parts so of the many medicines. And many some adjectives. The adjective positive and negative. And feelings. Feelings using half plus noun. Okay, that was great. Thank you for being in the class today, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. remember, you have, to, you have to work on the platform. It's your obligation if you want to get a certificate. Okay, 
So, okay. Please, okay. please, please work. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. Good night. Good night. Rest well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.